Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we are going to talk about a recent launch from Samsung. So Samsung recently launched a smartphone named as Samsung Galaxy M02s. So we'll be talking about this phone specs and my suggestions and everything in this video. So the first thing is it comes with 6.5 inches HD LCD display and so liquid crystal display. So the next thing is what is this difference between this LCD and LED display? So basically if you're going to use your smartphones or laptops or gadgets in the daytime, then LCD display is a good option for you. Whereas if you're going to use those gadgets in the nighttime, like just switching off all your uh, lights and souls, and then if you're going to use it, then LED display is a good option for you so whereas like um if you're going to use your phones for a camera like going to take photographies photos or going to take any video sensors then lcd is a good option for you because there you'll be getting natural brightness whereas on the other side on led you'll be getting a small minute adaptive brightness that's it so this is what the major differences is and talking more it is purely depends on the company's point of view depending upon their uh, profit percentage like their manufacturing cost and so each company will go for different of this um displays that's it and there are different varieties like here there is ips uh, lcd display in plane switching and um, there is lcd hd lcd and so on so this side OLED, super amorted infinitely amorted there are like different types of displays so here the company is using a uh, hd lcd display which is a good option and it comes with a pixel resolution of 720 into 1600 in the sense you can go for a maximum of 720 and 1080p there is going to be no issues and source so here additionally for the structure they are giving an infinitely v-shaped structure which is quite good and it always comes in almost all samsung models so you with help of this you'll be getting a good viewing experience like all kind of those things will be good so that's it so this is are the base things of its display point of view so the next thing is we are just talking about something depth like what is there in this display so the first thing we have to talk here is aspect ratio so what is this aspect ratio so basically now i told this phone size is 6.5 inches so there is um this 6.5 inches is only the size of your full phone whereas the size of your screen like what is your touch screen size will be uh, known with help of this aspect ratio that's it so uh, here the aspect ratio for this phone is 20 is to 9 in the sense 20 will be your length and 9 will be your breadth so we be more precise they'll be just talking about each of the pixels which is available in the screen and so so keeping that thing in mind here the aspect ratio is 20 is to 9 and if you want to know more then you have to look for screen to body ratio that's it so here the screen to body ratio is 81 percentage in the sense like if you take your full phone uh, where 81 percentage will be your screen and the rest 19 percentage will be your body so that's it so with the help of this uh, you can say that uh, on your front uh, how much space will be available for your screen and how much uh, there will be some body structures and so on. in the sense if you take some old uh, smartphones like touch phones like one or two years back then at the bottom you'll be having a small structure like where you'll be getting this back uh, power button and so on so same as in the top of cameras so these things you can know with help of this screen to body ratio and so so here uh, with this 81 percent they have given a benzyl structure so they will not be having any curved edges and so it will be somewhat blend and you'll be having that body structure and so so that's it so coming to the next thing is we have to talk about a very important thing named as ppi density in the sense pixel per inch so what is this ppi so basically like if you're going to uh if you if you have played any games in any of your smartphones and so you might have noticed this thing like even if your ram is good your processor is good or else uh, sometimes your network connection will be so so good but still there will be having some small issues in your game in the sense suppose if you're playing pubg or free fire or any top games like this uh, during those times the enemy might have started shooting you like he might have started firing at you but uh, what is the thing is the audio might have reached to your ear but those things to appear on your screen it will take some at least like two to three seconds of lag so that is mainly due to this ppi that's it so what is this ppi place the role is it will start refreshing the screen at every second so this is what the ppi does so in the sense like when you're playing those games you will not look in the same direction you'll be constantly rotating here and there or you'll be running here and there so keeping that thing in mind the screen has to be refreshed on a 
particular period of time. So those things will be done with the help of this PPI density. So here the PPI density is 270, which is quite, quite low and you can't play any top end games in this phone. So it is an open statement from my side. So because like if you want to play those kind of the games, then at least go for 400 plus. 2B max if you want pure gaming phone go for 500 there are 495 498 and so so you can go for those types of smartphones also so here the PPI is 270 PPI which is quite not even okay it is below okay and next thing is we have to talk about the refresh rate refresh rate in the sense it is connected to this PPI only where that screen will be refreshed on this uh, period of time so that is mainly due to this refresh rate so here the refresh rate is 60 hertz so if you go on top end gaming phones like and so you should go for 120 at least for minimum go for 90 hertz that's it so this is about its ppi part its basic specs and source so next thing is we'll be talking about its processor so the, here the company is giving octa core quad comes snapdragon 450 and here it comes with android 10 which is also quite disappointing as well because now now 12 13 is going on still they are going for old versions android 10 okay and here they are giving uh this co combination with two variants so one is 3 gb or uh, 32 gb internal whereas the next thing is 4 GB or uh, 64 GB internal and so so this is about its processor side and so and in addition to that they are giving a dedicated uh, micro SD slot where you can expand your memories up to 1 TB and so so that's it so this is about its processor side so the next thing is we'll be talking about its camera part so here on the front on the selfie uh, selfie side the company is giving like 5 megapixels whereas on the back you're getting 13 plus 2 plus 2 where your 13 will be your primary and the next 2 will be your macro on the final 2 will be your depth sensor in the sense there is no ultra wide lens a small note here and the final thing is to we'll be talking about its battery so here the company is coming with lithium polymer with 5000 mih and they are also giving an additional fast charging of 15 watts so which all quite good on the battery part and the camera side is okay like not a big issue but on the other specs i will say it is quite an issue because of the budget like what is the price and so which i'll be explaining next so here the company is giving an availability of three colors so it is going to be red uh, black and blue and it is going to be available on samsung's official website and amazon's official website i'll put the links in the description so there is not an official date like when it will be launched currently but still you can just go through the website and you can notify like and give a reminder uh whenever it's going to be launched so most probably it will be launched within this month then you can expect it but still uh what is the thing is its price so the first variant for 3 gb 32 gb internal it comes around like 9 k this 9000 indian rupees whereas for 4 gb 64 gb internal it comes around like 10 k that is 10000 indian rupees so that's it so this is about its full uh, phone specs like all the things and so so the final thing is my suggestions so in my suggestions like what i will say is uh, is this phone good for gaming 100 percentage no please don't go for it because you'll pucker regret and uh, you can't even play any sorts of games and so and suppose if you're looking for some phones where the ppi is so high but still the ram and processor is low then also you can play there is going to be no issues just change your graphics from ultra high to high you can play smooth gaming there's going to be no issues and uh, in camera point of view i'll say this phone is also quite okay not so good and while on battery it is good because 5000 mAh it will be last long there's going to be no issues so on my suggestions i'll say this phone is not good for youth youngsters college students all kind of those people you can buy this phone and give for your parents like uh, or some old age people's grandfather grandmother and so for those people this phone will work but still what i'm saying additionally is suppose if you're planning to take this phone under the age of 10k then you can always look for other smartphones which is also available in 10 ks like Xiaomi, Redmi, Vivo, Oppo, like lots of different phones are available under 10K where they are giving some additional specs when compared to this phone. A small note here. So uh, in those things, what you have to compare is basically first you have to compare for battery then ram please don't compare because in all the major will be 3 or 4 gb that's it if we go almost like 20 or 25 then only you will be getting 8 gb and so and so so here don't look on ram and so just just look on battery and look on aspect ratio ppi screen to body ratio so those kind of things you can just have a look and then you can come to a 
conclusion like which has good specs and then you can buy under this 10k in the sense like suppose if you're giving to your parents or anyone after some days like maybe one or two years the phone will start getting slow it will start getting stuck it is mainly due to this processors so please make sure that you take a most updated processor under 10k like oh, your uh, range is going to be 10k means then under 10k you can look under these brands and please look for processors rams like what are the things aspect ratio and so on so then come to a conclusion and purchase it that's it and please don't go for 2 gb of ram because 100 percent is your phone will not work maybe for six months it can go but after that your phone will not work because like nowadays apps are getting so so high android versions are going high in the sense like if you uh, take a 2 gb of ram and if you're installing just 10 to 15 apps then automatically your phone will get stuck. It can't processor uh, at the same time. In the sense, suppose if you play song and if you're opening WhatsApp, Insta, two, three apps at the same time, or background apps, all kind of those things will not work. So a small suggestion here. So uh, with this, I just end this video. So it is not a budget phone. It is only for like these kind of old age people. So you can take this phone, but still please have a comparison and then go for it. So that's it. So with this, I just end this video. And if you have any doubts related to this Samsung model, you can comment below. I'll pack a reply to it. So hope so you like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. So like this content, I'll just meet in the next video. So till then, peace from K-Square. Bye.